Welcome to the channel everyone, I'm Scratch, this is another Raid Shadow Legends video, hope you guys are having an amazing, amazing day. Let me know in the comments down below, how is your weekend going so far? Guys, in today's video, we're going to have a look at an epic champion that will put legendaries to shame. I haven't made a video on this champion in quite a while, and I feel like 3-4 years ago, the very first time when I made a video on him and kind of like put him on the map, he really impressed a lot of people, and you know what? I've posted a video on Quintus yesterday and I had a couple of people like Scott here saying, you know what, Scratch, my Phoenix gets this job done without a problem. And I was like, you know what, let me remind myself and let me remind the people why Phoenix is so amazing. And all that matters on this champion, guys, is literally his basic skill. One of the hardest hitting basic skills in the entire game. He can even block revive with this. This makes him insane for the golem, makes him insane for arena. and makes him insane for hydra he's super powerful in clan boss if you haven't tried him in clan boss and you're struggling to get um, your damage up in an unkillable team keep him in mind keep him in uh, in mind because this a1 is is dangerous you don't even need to use the a3 or the or the a2 so attacks an enemy places an extra hit if the target has any debuffs enemies killed by this skill cannot be revived and that's pretty much everything that we need to know yes he does have multiple skills that honestly I do think they deserve to get a bit of a buff. Maybe this one right here uh, is not necessarily the most uh, interesting thing, you know. It will have an 80% chance to put a block buffs. Would be nice if this would be 100%, but is on a 4 turn cooldown. What I would like to see on this champion is this skill right here going on a 3 turn cooldown with a 100% chance to land defense down and decrease speed. That's what he needs as an epic champion. And this would make him so powerful for clan boss alone just because he brings the defense down so you you would be able to run him on a on a double manitor comp or a bariter and get insane value out of this champion he doesn't have the ba uh, the best base stats in the world but you know what he'll get the job done now if you guys remember this video that i've done ages ago in clan boss where he literally proved how powerful he is that was a uh, that was actually a very, very long time ago. I will share the build and everything with you uh, guys uh, at the end of the video. So master is and everything else that you need to know. So we're running the exact same team and the exact same gear we had yesterday on, uh, on Quintus. So he's wearing Quintus's gear. Now on top of it, he actually has a uh, seven piece of Merciless, which is the amulet. But that just gives us 5% speed, which doesn't really make a difference because he's so freaking slow anyway. But let's check out a bit his, uh, his damage once we're gonna, we're gonna be set up. He actually brings in a lot of damage. He brings way more damage than you would, uh, would think. I'm not necessarily uh, trying to uh, compare him with Quintus or anything like that. Quintus is Void. He's a legendary. He has the passive that can give you uh, extra damage, which is really kind of like something that you want to avoid to have buffs on the Hydra because it's, it's a problem. You know, you don't want to complicate your life when you can uh, just destroy the heads. But if by any chance, let's just say your team doesn't run as uh, as good, and they manage to buff, Quintus will bring you some uh, some damage from the passive, you know. But let's actually keep our eye on uh, on Phoenix here because I'm pretty positive that he will impress a lot of people. He will impress a lot of people. Now I do want to take down the head of uh, Mischief as uh, fast as possible. Oh, we had no uh, we had no hacks on him on that. Okay. That's fine. So we we got that redirected. Let's actually put... Oh, damn it. We lost that because of fear. Oh, my God. That's such a big shame. I was going to I was gonna show you guys how well he's going to perform with, uh, with the A1 on a decapitated head, with the weaken, with the defense down, and everything else that, uh, that matters there, basically. Let's spread that block buffs on the head of Mischief. He's a naughty one. Hex, maybe? No. So we have no defense down on uh, that one. Uh... I could use an AoE attack. Let's use the AoE attack. So the AoEs, honestly, they don't deal crazy damage. I'll be very, very honest with you. Uh, even before, on any content, the AoEs don't tend to do insane damage. But when we are talking about uh, the A1, man, that's that's literally what matters. Like, look at that. 800 plus K hit with no defense down and weaken on the decapitated head, you know. So once we have the debuffs on, it will make a massive, massive difference. And the more buffs we have on him, of course, that will increase a bit uh, the damage, but only by 0.5% per buff. Because we only have a 2-star two uh, two blessing on him. So where are we? Turn 8, 6 million damage. 
once we're going to ramp up a bit our uh, our numbers in here, we're going to to look much much better. So let's go again. No defense down or weaken, unfortunately. 462k, 530. So just casual 1 million, uh, 1 million damage, you know. Pretty casual, I would say. We have weaker now. We're going to put defense down. Hopefully that hat stays, uh, stays down, you know. I do have the ally attack from, uh, from Cardiel. If everything goes right. And check this out. If we can spot the numbers. Can we spot the numbers, Phoenix? 880k, 836k, pretty damn nice, right? Pretty damn nice. Well, that's not everything. You should be seeing even more than that. Even higher numbers. Oh, I was going to say Head of Mischief. Don't you do it. Don't you go for him. We have another decapitated head that can actually benefit from having these debuffs on. We're still going to uh, provoke with Molly just to annoy the Head of Mischief a bit. And there we go. Let's take the Head of Mischief down. Drop a bit of Terminator. Okay, so we got the hits in. I haven't really paid attention to see how much damage we dealt there, but we're going to see it here. 800k, 800k. So 1.6 million damage, guys, from a, a couple of hits. That is some very, very nasty damage. That is some very, very nasty damage. 100%. So look at that. Boss turn count 12, 17 million damage. We started ramping up the, the numbers a bit. And we're going to do it even more once. We're going to put a, a few extra buffs here and there. Right now we have quite uh, quite a few. I I supposed to try to spread them from the other head. Maybe I was spreading the defense down and weakened. That was my mistake right there. Okay, three decapitated heads. It doesn't really matter when we're hitting a, a strong affinity, you know. So let's go with this skill to see what damage we're getting with this. This is the A3. One million, one million and forty-eight thousand. Pretty damn good. Pretty damn good. Not as a uh, insane as the basic skill which is crazy right the basic skill dealing more damage than anything else on his kit he's very similar with uh with Kandrophone. he does something uh something pretty crazy too with his a1 but they need to have buffs which is a bit more uh more unlikely to 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 achieve you know like to have a a good run with uh with a solid team when they're getting a lot of buffs so let's see if we're hitting the head of mischief okay we do have defense down and weakened there, but I don't have increased attack on Phoenix anymore, so that makes a bit of a difference. Uh, once we're going to get that up and running again, we should be, we should be fine. 574, 574 spot on. Now we got to get that increased attack back up and running. We already managed to get a one key damage without a problem, guys. Literally no problem whatsoever. I will try to do a couple of more hits with the increased attack because I feel like that's what really, really matters. You know, once you have that increased attack, there we go. So we got the increased attack. Coming in some, uh, uh, with some hits in here. 900k, what? 2 million, 2 million. That's it. The judge said 2 million, Phoenix. He's not messing around. 2 million damage, guys. That was actually a pretty nasty one. Let's see again. 1.23, 962k. Phoenix, bad boy, you are actually killing it. You are killing it. He is not messing around. How I mentioned, he was insane for Clambos back in the day. And even in Arena, guys, like, even today in Arena, you can use him. The only problem is for high-end Arena is that you need to bring debuffs against uh, the enemy. And it's pretty hard to, to make it happen. But if you manage to get all that sorted, he will definitely destroy the enemy, regardless who the enemy might be, you know. And is it's a good thing to, to keep in mind that he is a very viable option for, for a lot of content. You know, he might not look as fancy as uh, all the OP legendaries or stuff like that. But trust me what I'm telling you, Phoenix is, is a very solid champion. You know, like, look at that. We had no increased attack. I don't think we had defense down and weaken on that one. Or maybe we had, and I, I haven't noticed, but the increased attack was not on. His damage is solid, man. His damage is solid. I'm so curious to see it... Uh, at the end of the run. I'm going to let it go all the way to turn 25. That's what I'm, uh, that's when I'm going to stop it. So we use the A3, 277k on a uh, non-decapitated head. The AoE is definitely not great though. So that's, that's for sure. The chance to put block buffs again is not really worth building him with a lot of accuracy just to uh, have a chance to land the debuffs. I would just go full damage, you know, full damage with him and uh, 
that would be solid. So do you need do you need Quintus instead of him to pretty much do this if you if you destroy the heads? You know, if you're destroying the heads and your main goal is to reach an insane amount of damage, you don't need Quintus. You don't really need uh, enemy max HP on the lower difficulties. Just give him a decent build and he's going to perform well. Now, a lot of people always say, ah, oh, these champions only do good because of the build. No, they do good because of multipliers, guys, you know? And as long as you manage to, to get that done, you're, a, you're gonna get some awesome results. I've just realized I passed uh, turn 25, so let's stop here. But almost 60 million damage. Cardiel with 13, to, to Hanarak with 4.8, Phoenix with 19 million damage. Lydia got 18, and that's because of the hacks and the way it spread it from him because of all the, all the hits, you know. But either way, this is a very, very impressive, uh, impressive damage from, uh, from Phoenix. Let me quickly show you the build just in case if anyone was, uh, was wondering. So Phoenix, and here we go. We do have the same blessing on him as uh, we had on uh, Quintus because he's the best option. Uh, he even cast. I only have a two star, right? So nothing else would really make uh, sense while getting these stats. 0.5% damage for each buff. And yes, Merciless, I have this amulet on him. So at seven pieces, you're basically getting 5% uh, more speed. But we're ignoring all the defense. We have a chance to decrease the random, uh, uh, or random skills cooldown, but we don't really care about any skills with him. And we only care about that basic skill. That's literally everything that matters. Total stats. Uh, 36k HP, 7.3k attack, 2k defense, 193 speed, full crit rate, 258 crit damage. And that is about it, guys. Phoenix in full action. And masteries, of course, we have Helm Smasher as tier 6. You might not be able to see it because of my big head. But this is pretty much what we have. Uh, offense and defense. You can go with the support if you want to have a chance to land the debuffs and gain more accuracy. It's absolutely fine. You can even go with Lore of Steel to get a bit of a extra, extra stats from the set because this will actually increase the stats on, a, on the Merciless set too. But yeah, Hell Smasher as tier 6. That was all for the video, guys. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. I know a lot of you people probably are well familiar with Phoenix now. You know what he's capable of, uh, of doing. And... Let me know, where are you using this champion in 2024? Appreciate every single one of you guys watching. Much love, and I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace.